Here's the Wave Genius Elliott Wave noon update for November 7th, 2013. The NASDAQ five day, one minute chart. Um, basically, the, the, uh, the move from uh, 3905 to 3957 turns out there was a B wave into a C wave. So we got A, B, C up into one, two, three, four, and five. So within, within this um, big zigzag, we have nearly five waves down within the C wave. So we have wave one, wave two, wave three, and Nasdaq actually bounced um, right near point three two. Should be around thirty nine oh one in Nasdaq. So if it hits, it needs to hit thirty nine oh one. Well, it can qualify as a four right now, but I would, for, for 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 perfection reasons, I would need to see thirty nine hundred to thirty nine oh one. And if there's a fifth wave, it would it would um worst case is like thirty nine oh one point three eight two and a fifth wave to test like thirty eight seventy five. That's the worst case scenario. So that, but that's that's not that bad when you really think about it. That's just a that'll be just a fifth wave. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five. But then we get a fifth wave and then reverse. And probably after those five waves complete, um, we probably could hit the go back to thirty nine thirty or higher, and um, break new new uh, all time highs. Um, based on this formation, on the Nasdaq, yeah. So once the zigzag completes, um. It would need to complete five waves down the C wave, reverse back up for the 39.30, and then break out to do all time highs. That's what may, which is one thing, not may happen. This is what's been happening for many, for since 2009. Zigzag ABC, five waves down, four, five, reverse, break 0.618 into new all time highs. Uh, for SP, um, the spike was over. Um, the top of the wave one, but if this is one, okay, I, I don't want, I do not want to do this, but I may have no choice because Nasdaq got one, two, three, four, five. So we got a uh, three down, four up, and then we got um, at least a point three eight two four in S and P. Uh, uh, things that we basically essentially got A B C up. Yeah, this is a really big scree chart. I mean, every morning gap down, every morning gap down, every morning gap down. It's like it's really screwy. But in order for SP to get out of this mess, it would need to hold, um, it need to break at least uh, seventeen seventy or go positive today. But it's okay though if we get a fifth wave down to retest the seventeen fifty six low because this could be four up before five down before a reversal for the Dow. This is not a bad chart at all. Dow really didn't get slammed, but uh, um, the bounce off lows. Um, however, it could be a two up, so it needs to hold on um, 50,662 and ride back over 50,780 to set up a third wave. The, the focus right now is really NASDAQ because um, it really needs to get a four here. So, uh, four well, actually, it's within striking distance of a four, but not quite a four yet. So, I mean, I'm really anal about targets for 0.382 move because they always. Almost always exactly 0.382 before for a fifth wave down, but I would I if we do drop here and test 3880, I would be I would probably accept this as a four before a five down. That's a wrap.